Okay, as we've been saying, the strong winds, they really had a lot of wide, widespread rather power outages. And Local 12's Cassie Arsenal was in the thick of all of it. Cassie, despite the warmer temperatures today, the power crews have really had a lot of trouble. Yeah, getting the lights back on has been painfully slow, and here's why. To get up in those bucket trucks to fix the utility poles, you can't have gusts of wind over 30 miles per hour. And since we've been dealing with that for most of the day and into the evening, it's been no easy feat. I just did another check, and there's still 2,000 customers without power tonight. What began with a day that felt like spring gave way to gusts of chaos. High winds mixed with the rain we got last night, and it was a mess. This is not gonna be Branches and trees came crashing down, and utility poles ended up snapped in half, like these in Covington. Definitely going to be a long night for our crews. Duke Energy is working diligently, but if winds are over 30 miles per hour, they have to climb up poles manually to fix the outages, which increases wait times. Right. There's no Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> how does that how does that affect your life with no Wi-Fi? I can't play Minecraft with my brother. 11-year-old Megan Cafera is bummed she can't game after school, but grateful it was warm enough to play outside instead. Well, I was pretty thankful that it was on a mild, warm day for February yeah. <laughs> because we've had power outages in the winter before, and that wasn't fun. And while the winds are getting weaker, Duke Energy says the worst may not be over. I do think that until the winds fully move out of our region that we will still experience more outages. So an important reminder, not just today, but any day that you see down power lines in your neighborhood, across your driveway, do not drive over them. You're going to want to call 911 right away so that Duke Energy can get some experts out there to make sure everyone's safe. Better safe than sorry in all scenarios with down power lines. Reporting live, I'm Cassie Arsenal, Local 12 News.